All right, hi guys, here's a little yin sequence for you. So start out in butterfly. I'm gonna go through the poses and just show you what to do. And then when you go into your own um, practice, hold the poses for three to five breaths. Lots of really smooth exhales. Um, really just follow the breath. It doesn't need to be a really deep, um, loud breath breathing practice, but you hold for about three to five minutes and you soften. So the first one we're gonna do is a little butterfly. So there is, you know, a comfortable space between my heels and my hips. So the first pose that you're gonna do is this butterfly where you just round. Now notice that my back is rounding. So in normal butterfly pose, we're sitting up and we're very extended here, but in the yin version, we're rounding, okay? The next pose we're gonna do, the second version of this pose is called Tarasana. And notice that this is our first butterfly pose and then we move out into a wider diamond shape. And here, same thing. Notice my, I'm gonna bring my palms up and just relax, okay? My spine is rounded. In yin postures, you're allowed to round your spine. So here's one and then two. And then for three, we're gonna bring one foot in, extend one leg, lift and lengthen and then exhale fold now notice here what i'm going to do is soften my foot soften my hands and relax over this extended leg hold for three to five breaths each side okay next pose we're going to do is to take both of our legs out wide i like to give a little shake before i come into the pose relax the feet and then just fold forward here remember rounding the spine and relaxing through the hands so that's a little bit of a seated sequence. The next sequence you can do for your yin poses, and again, all of those poses you'd hold for three to five minutes. Next one is a um, lounging lizard. And so for this one, you are coming into a low lunge here, and except it's a very spacious lunge, I'm actually gonna use my Zafu right here to show you. I'm just gonna soften, and again, roll to the outer edge of the foot if I want, just make sure there's a lot of space here and round. And I'd hold three to five breaths here. And then I'd come up very slowly. Sorry, not three to five breaths, three to five minutes. And do the other side, lounging lizard coming forward and relaxing here, okay? So that is your little lunge sequence that you can do. Next yin pose is, um, a version, I can't remember the name of this pose in the yin practice, but in traditional asana practice, when we come back, we don't want our knees to come up and we want them to stay together. In yin practice, we actually let our toes stay together and our legs come out really wide. And here, we come back. Again, I'm going to come back onto this Zafu pillow, okay, so you can just see that kind of relaxing back. And here, my legs can come wide and open up and I'm getting a nice stretch through here. This is actually the perfect height for me and then I'll just relax my arms and stay there for three to five minutes. Okay. Um, next version. All of the yin poses are seated, by the way, are all on the ground. There's no standing yin. Is the yin version of um, pigeon which is more like a Z pose. If you notice, my back leg is really bent and then I just fold over there. Okay, fold over the front leg, really spacious, really soft, and then do the other side three to five minutes. And then shoelace is a double pigeon and this is when we take one leg and stack it on top of the other and then fold forward here. Okay. You just spend about three to five minutes there and then mm -hmm. come onto the other side. What am I noticing? How my head is relaxing. Right, my head is not all the way down, it's just very soft. My back is soft. I'm getting a little bit of a pull here, but I'm very relaxed. And then I can come onto my back and maybe come to the side for this one, Sailor. And then just hug the knee in. And you do one pose here, holding, then you'd switch. And 
And that's a nice little yin sequence right there. Thanks.